In this video, you will get to know about SpaceX's recent Starship SN9, details of its pre-flight tests, its flight profile, its improvements over SN8. Stay tuned as we try to understand whether or not SN9 can land in one piece. After successful test flights of Starhopper, SN5, SN6, and SN8, which exceeded expectations but could not finish the landing, SN9 will mark the sixth test flight of a major component of SpaceX Starship. SN9 is scheduled to lift off sometime in January. Starship SN9, equipped with three sea-level Raptor engines, will attempt a high-altitude hop at SpaceX's development and launch site in Boca Chica, Texas. It has plans to fly an altitude of 12.5 kilometers and return for a soft touchdown. On December 28, 2020, SN9 went through ground tests like ambient temperature, pressure tests, and passed with flying colors. These tests were then followed by the more dramatic cryogenic proof testing of the craft on 29 December. On 6 January 2020, static fire test was conducted with three Raptor engines. There were static fire tests done again on 13th January. On that day, SpaceX static fired Starship SN9's Raptor engines three times in one day, apparently keeping the vehicle on track for a high-altitude test flight in upcoming days. The engines lit up briefly at 1.28 p.m., again at 3.22 p.m., and then yet again at 4.36 p.m. in local Texas time. During static fires, engines blaze briefly while a vehicle remains tethered to the ground. All three static fires completed and no RUDs, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said via Twitter this afternoon. RUD is short for Rapid Unscheduled Disassembly, Musk's preferred euphemism for explosion. Detanking and inspections now, good progress towards our hop in and go to Mars goal, he added in another tweet. These tests are part of the launch preparations for SN9, which will take to the skies in the upcoming days or weeks if all goes according to plan. Starship SN9 is now ready for the high-altitude flight test. The flight profile of SN9 is likely to follow closely the previous Starship SN9 hop test. The following are the sequence of events that is expected to happen in the final SN9 high-altitude flight test. Starship SN9 will ignite all its three Raptor engines to launch the rocket in sky above Texas. At T plus one minus 42 seconds into the flight, one of the Raptor engines will cut off. At T plus three minutes, 14 seconds, another Raptor engine will fire off, leaving a single Raptor to continue to burn, lifting Starship towards its 12.5 kilometers altitude goal. At T plus four minutes, 40 seconds, the remaining Raptor will shut down, at an altitude of 12.5 kilometers, Starship will then level out in a horizontal orientation or belly flop to begin a controlled free fall skydive. After free falling about two minutes, two Raptors will reignite as SN9 will begin a 90 degree flip at T plus six minutes and 32 seconds. Reaction control system thrusters located at various points on the rocket will help steer and stabilize the Starship SN9 as it will adjust rotation to a vertical position in landing. At T plus 6 minutes and 39 seconds, still firing, the two Raptor engines will reduce its velocity and it will approach the landing pad. At T plus 6 minutes and 42 seconds, legs will deploy and SN9 will complete a soft touchdown onto the concrete surface of the landing pad. There are a few improvements on SN9 compared to SN8. Starship SN9 will pressurize the methane header tank with helium. We know that helium is an inert gas which does not react with other elements under normal conditions. This makes helium a very good candidate to maintain pressure. This should prevent SN9 from losing pressure like the methane header tank did during SN8's flight. Moreover, the wiring is more robust, engines are more mature, Non-secure is sealed better in SN9. We can only hope that these improvements do the trick. But as Elon Musk says, the challenge with rocket science is that the passing score is 100%. So everything has to go 100% according to plan in order for SN9 test flights to be successful. If you like this video, you may also enjoy our full playlist on space exploration. That is shown in the end screen. And please subscribe to Future Fun to watch more fascinating videos on futuristic tech.